At a recent work session, Youth Court Judge Lydia Corals called for the Starkville Board of Aldermen to renew the city's agreement with the Lowndes County Juvenile Detention Center. As a result of the rise in violent crimes involving young people, the city reserved two beds at the detention center. Judge Corals believes using the center is working. Other community leaders aren't so sure about that. Our Stephen Pimpo joins us in the studio with that story tonight. Stephen. Andrea Winston, thank you. The interlocal agreement with the Lowndes County Juvenile Detention Center keeps two beds reserved for any arrests they make in the city and will continue for the next several months. But according to the Octibaha County NAACP president, the community won't see lasting change until core problems like lack of housing and socioeconomic inequality are addressed. One accessory after the fact to murder, two burglaries of vehicles with guns, assault with a firearm, aggravated assault with a firearm, simple assault on a teacher. Those are just some of the charges Judge Lydia Quarles says she's seen over the past year in Octibaha County Youth Court. She says the average age of suspects in those cases was between 15 and 16 years old. It's one reason she believes Starkville's interlocal agreement to reserve space at the Lowndes County Detention Center should continue. Putting them in detention for a little while, you know, almost using as a calm down period or a think about this period uh, has perhaps made a difference in their behavior. Judge Quarles says that about 80 to 85 percent of the children she sees are African American. Octibaha County NAACP President Yolanda Haddix, who spent 16 years working in a New Jersey juvenile facility, says this is only a temporary fix and could actually hurt the community in the long run. Hey, look at Columbus. I mean, the center's right there in your, in your home, in your community. You have more criminal behavior than you've ever seen. Over the last year, Judge Quarles says she's seen a slight increase in cases involving weapons and juveniles but added that so far, she hasn't had to send anyone to the detention center twice. Haddix is uncertain about how sustainable that will be. Most kids who, I would say, commit a crime early, also before the age of 15, is going to have a 90% chance of getting back into the um, criminal system. Judge Quarles says that the 12 children she sent to the juvenile center had one thing in common. They all had guns and were threatening or had shot something, and, and as far as I'm concerned, that's where you're going to go if you're over 12 years old. I don't think if a 12 year old, a 13 year old, still a gun, he's going to immediately go to juvenile system. I just don't think he's ready for that. Because what happens is once he gets there, he's going to learn the habits. However, Judge Quarles says that young people could actually learn good habits thanks to the resources at the Lowndes County Center. A lot of these kids are truants, and it, at least they're going to school in detention. And they're also, uh, you know, they also get a psychological analysis. Haddix believes the city's resources would be better spent by investing in the schools and youth outreach centers in underserved communities. You don't want to send your kids to, to a school or education setting where there's no books, uh, the building is dilapidated, the bathroom done flush, and you expect our kids to thrive in those environments. The problem does not go away by locking kids up. Judge Quarles believes there is enough support among the aldermen to renew that interlocal agreement for another year. She expects that vote sometime within the next three months.